Hey my friends, what's down? Loka is here and I draw my way out of depression. Alright, let's get started. Do you know the feeling of staring at a blank page and somehow see it staring back at you, provoking you? If you do, you're not alone. This time I had that kind of feeling before drawing. Blank page is like, well, a white or any other color if you wish. Page. It's just a page. It's innocent. It has no power. How can it scare me away? But it did. For a while. So to overcome it, I just forced myself to draw something. Anything. To make it a little bit less empty. And then after a few minutes with a bunch of swirls, I felt better. It's like, there you have a problem. Solve it. Before that, the blank page, it's also a problem, but how to solve it? I have no idea. The problem could be anything. It's too wide, too vague, it paralyzed me. It's easier to have a problem defined, right? This is not really well defined though. It never will be, I think. So after having a bunch of swirls, I continue to add more lines here and there to make some of the swirls become thicker. I kept doing that until there's another problem, that is, how to connect all these separated parts together. Well, I have to say it's an interesting problem to have. Then again, I forced myself to be brave and just use lines to make connections between those parts. Well, I, I know it sounds pretty obvious when I'm saying this, I am drawing, so of course the only way to solve anything here is by drawing, right? It's obvious, but not quite. When I was there drawing this, I didn't know that it was such an obvious thing to do. The problem here is where the line should be drawn. Sorry, I just puzzled myself a bit there. So this video is like 20 times sped up already, but if you watch closely, you would see sometimes I got stuck in the middle, drawing nothing, staring at the page again and again, many times. I like to compare this drawing process to solving math problem. In math, there might be plenty of ways to solve a problem, but there's only one result. Drawing is a bit less strict than that. It could have many ways to solve or to draw to, but it would have equally plenty of results. The one common challenging thing on top of that is it should be interesting to look at. However, if it's not, we can always start again. Well, I have to admit that I have been drawing the wrong way lately. I have been rushing to draw. Because the final drawings used to be my goal. I like to see it to have the satisfied feeling that I have completed it. But it's so dangerous. Doing that makes me less creative as an artist. I tend to draw the things or patterns that I am familiar with. I would not grow if I kept doing that, so I have to remind myself that I should draw more slowly. It's okay if it takes like 5 or 10 hours or even more, but the most important thing is I can learn while I am drawing. And I can enjoy the process more when I take it slow. And also, drawing slowly helps me to meditate. Just be calm and draw line after line while breathing. So if you can, slow down and enjoy the process. Alright, here we have the drawing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And see you in the next one. Have a great day, okay? Take care.